Ned Kelly is remembered as a significant Australian because of his actions and deeds, but more so because of how the people of Australia perceive him. Kelly is immortalised in art, literature and films, most of which display him as a hero. However, Ned Kelly was not the best nor the fiercest bushranger of his time, so why do people remember him above all others? Ned Kelly is considered to be a folk hero and an icon to some, and a heartless murderer to others, based on the way they see his actions. Most see Kelly as a person who stood up to face the unfair laws and biased government of the time. Kelly himself said that he may not have turned out to be what he was, if he and his poor family were treated with the dignity and respect that all people deserve. Over the years, countless movies and books have been made and written about Kelly. He and his gang are depicted as flawed heroes, striking back against the unjust laws and fighting for his people's rights. This is certainly how the people of his time saw Kelly. Most of Kelly's victims were police officers, and as most of the population of Australia were or had descended from convicts, police were seen as natural oppressors, acting in the interests of the rich. So, when Kelly and his gang attacked police stations and murdered policemen, he was not seen as a vicious, bloodthirsty villain, but as an icon to be followed. Born in the June of 1854, Ned Kelly clashed constantly with the police. His deeds and daring exploits are documented permanently in the Geraldery Letter. The Geraldary Letter has subsequently become one of Australia's most famous pieces of literature. It is because of this letter that Ned Kelly is not simply remembered as a murderer, because it explains what he did from his point of view. This gives us an insight into what he was feeling and who he really was as a person. Ned Kelly is remembered as one of Australia's most significant people because of the legacy he left behind after his death. Ned Kelly is remembered because of how he was and is seen, rather than who he actually was. He is significant because he is seen as an icon of Australian history, permanently ingrained into its annals for how we perceived what he did and who we thought he was. <laughs>